Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is my second update for my Bite the Bullet project for 2024. So this project is sort of like a roulette style um, lipstick project where I'm just focusing on like my bullet lipsticks. I'm not trying to pan things. Um, I'm also not like rouletting rouletting. I'm not doing random picks. I'm picking four items per month to play with to see you know how they work for me if I want to keep them. I am trying to at least put one item on a chopping block or like declutter it. Uh, if I can declutter it right away I want to declutter it right away. If not I will put it on a chopping block. So every month there should be at least one item on that uh, chopping block list or decluttered. And yeah quick mini elephant in the room if you've been around me for a while. I did cut my hair. I don't know if you can see that. It's a lot shorter. Like when I was like, I don't know, three inches. And then I kind of showed her and she's like, that's like six. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, <laughs> six inches. Basically I needed to cut off like all the really, really bleached ends. They were just getting really, really dry and unmanageable. And yeah, I did just freshly dye my hair as well with the remainder of some of the ColourPop dye I had. I don't know if you can see like my my skin is still a little bit dyed like it's it's fresh freshly dyed um and i didn't didn't do anything with my hair today so that's why i just pinned it up uh this is what my hair looks like if i just let it air dry so it's got a little bit of a wave to it um and i've never really figured out how to really pull that out better i, I probably should um but at this point yeah like i haven't I've had it cut like this for a couple of weeks and i haven't even really figured out how to style it yet because i'm not used to i haven't had my hair this short in at least pre-pandemic. Like I, I never really cut cut my hair. In, like I would say I cut it like every four to five years, like shorter. I never go, last time I cut it like this was like 2013 and like I don't really suit super short hair. So like I probably will never go shorter than like my shoulders. Um, but anyway, I wanna get that out of the way in case anybody's watching and it's like, wait a minute, something's different. That's what's different. So this is all about lips, not about hair. So let's get into the lips. I'm gonna go slightly random order here. We're gonna go first with the first bullet lipstick that I pulled out, which is Velvet Teddy from uh, MAC. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scooch over so I can put some photos up here um, or videos. And this particular lipstick, I feel like I have a love-hate with this. There's sometimes I go through phases where I love this lipstick. I love the way it looks on me. I like the way, yeah, like I like applying it. And then I go through phases where I'm like, eh, I don't know if I really see this color. And I feel like I'm in a phase like that right now where like, and I don't know if it's like when I'm really pale, I don't suit this. Um, sometimes it pulls a little orangey on me and I don't like it when it does that. I feel like this is a very chameleon type lipstick it can pull cool it can pull warm it can pull pinky it can pull nudey and and like i think that's why it's good but also bad <laughs> like it can be very um not what i want it to be sometimes when i pull it out i've talked about maybe potentially buying this in a full size i don't think i ever will and one of the reasons why is it is a matte lipstick and i'm just not a huge fan of a matte lipstick so for that reason i don't think i would ever purchase this full size but i am going to keep this i like it like i said sometimes i love it like it's like i wear it like days on end and then i'm going through phases like right now where i'm like eh, i don't know how much i love it like i like it but i don't love it the next lipstick is Dahlia from Wayne Goss. I got this in my Beautylish box last year. I love this lipstick. I love the formula. I love the packaging. Don't like the color. <laughs> the color just does not suit me. I'm not sure if I wore it in any videos this past month. I can wear this if I pair it with like a pinker lip liner and it sort of offsets that peach tone. I just do not look good with these like warm peach tones that like a lot of people love. They do not look good on me. I feel like they pull way too orangey. They make my teeth look a little funny. And yeah, I just don't suit them. And I was gonna chopping block this because like I said, I can wear this with like a pinker lipstick and it pulls it to the right shade. But I don't wanna be bothered with that. <laughs> I've got enough lipsticks. There's no reason for me to hang on to this just to like force myself to use it in a way that's like, tedious if that makes sense like if I want to wear a lip liner I want to wear a lip liner I don't have to wear a lip liner with this one and in some cases I might make a concession um but I feel like again I've talked about this project like I have a lot of lip products and I need to start letting some stuff go and I have already like this has been somewhat of a chopping block item for me already and I just I need to let it go like I need to just be like no and I love you Wayne 
So that makes me sad. It's one of the reasons why I, I hesitated buying anything from Wayne Zine. I noticed a lot of his lip products were all warm leaning and I was just like, I don't think any of them are gonna work for me. And it's also the reason why I've hesitated buying any of his mystery boxes because I just did not wanna get another lip product like this that I knew was not gonna work for me. Um, I think there's one shade in the lipsticks that I've wanted to buy, but again, I'm hesitant because it's like, what it looks like online, well, it looked like the way I think it will in my head on me <laughs> in real life. That makes sense. I can't think of the shade name off the top of my head. I want to say almond, but that's not, I think I'm just making that up. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this guy, this is, this is the declutter. This is the item that is going out of my collection. Um, cause yeah, I just, I don't, I don't love it. Kind of on the opposite in terms of shade and look on me, this is the ColourPop Libby Stick in the shade Juice Bar. They don't make this they don't make this particular formula anymore. It's like a sheer type formula and I love this. I forget how much I love this. It gets a little bit lost in my collection, but I only love this at certain points or certain times. It's very pink and very cool toned on me and I love that for certain looks. I think it looks really good with some of the makeup looks that I do, but it doesn't always suit every look that I do. So that's one of the reasons why I don't always pull this, but I do love this formula as a sheer lipstick. Um, I forget who posted this recently on Instagram, but like I definitely feel like I, I, like I love a bullet lipstick, but I don't like when they're too, too pigmented where I'm like too worried about how it looks when it goes on. These are the types of products, like this is nice and sheer that I don't have to think too hard about like just throwing it on and getting on with my day, if that makes sense. So so yeah, this is definitely a keeper for me. It is like, there's so much product in this and I've had this for a while. Like I'm never gonna finish this <laughs> ever, um, but it's still good. It still smells fine, still uh, performs fine. I know some people, these have gone off on them. I don't know about this particular line, but I know sometimes like some of the lippy sticks, eventually they'll get more like that crayony. I feel like, and I have one of these, I have uh, at least, I think I have two of them maybe. I feel like maybe the matte ones are the ones that might go off sooner. Um, I haven't checked my matte one in a while, but so far I think all of my lippy sticks have been fine. And then the fourth item I have in this project is sort of like a sleeper hit for me. This is the Tarte, I don't know what the actual product name is, but it's like a two-in-one lipstick and lip gloss in this shade Sassy. I got this in when they had like their buy six for $60 or whatever it is, like their makeup bags where you get stuff like on sale, which can be a really good deal, but sometimes you can end up buying stuff that you really didn't need <laughs> just because like you have to get something from each category. It's a, I think it's a good, beginner way to build a makeup collection or a good way to try a bunch of different things from Tarte that you've never tried before. Um, but if you're like me with a large collection, like now I have a large collection, it's maybe not the best idea, but it's still kind of fun. I, I did, every year I see it come up, I like throw stuff in my bag um, and then I decide not to buy it. But you know, one of these years I might actually clip purchase again. The only thing that made me sad about when I got it this time was I never got the makeup bag. Like it's supposed to all come in a makeup bag. I never got it. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't get a makeup bag. That was kind of annoying. But anyway, that's not what this project is about. This is about lipstick. So actually, and this does have a lip gloss on the one side. This is the lip product I am wearing. Actually, in today's video, I did put the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude underneath it just to give it a little bit of a different twist. Um, but yeah, this lipstick, I really enjoyed playing with this color. I just was really surprised that this was just connecting with me. It was the, the lip color I wanted to wear. And it's a really nice creamy formula. It's fairly pigmented, but you can go like today, I went a little bit sheer with it. You can kind of go light with it. Um, and I like just the lipstick on its own. It's a pigmented or lip gloss. It's a pigmented lip gloss, but not so pigmented that it's like you're worried about it traveling everywhere. It's just a really pretty shade of pink. I kind of wish I had a full size of this. I don't know if you can get, didn't know the name of the product. Let's just read the name of the product off the actual product. Um, it's the Tarte Lip Sculptor, lipstick and lip gloss. Um, so yeah, I wish I could have had a full size. I don't know if you can buy Sassy in a full size lip gloss, but it's a really nice lip gloss formula. It's smooth, not really sticky at all. Feels really nice. Um, yeah, so this like, this was a surprise like hit for me. I was not expecting, I was like, if I could have guessed, I would have said, oh yeah, this was my favorite this past month. Um, this probably would have been second and this would have been third. I kind of knew the Wayne Gloss one. Like, <laughs> that's probably not gonna be a favorite. Kind of knew that going into this already. Um, but yeah, this surprised me that this sort of like, I wore it often. Now I do know somebody asked, cause I talked about, I'm not doing like measurements on this. It's not project panning. They're like, well track number of uses for what you use the most. Um, and <laughs> if you saw my deck of panning video, <laughs> I'm struggling even with a project that's about uses, <laughs> tracking uses. And 
and actually just be using it. So I don't know, maybe in the future, maybe in a future video, once I get my shit together, <laughs> I will do that. Uh, but right now, I, I'm not really marking uses, but if I was, I would put money that this is the one I used the most this past month for sure. Um, and it also did, speaking of decapanning, this is the lipstick that sort of over, oh, I should have kept that lipstick out here. This is the one that sort of overrode the lipstick I had in decapanning just because this one, I don't know, I just really like this formula. This color was just a little bit richer, I want to say, whereas the one from decapanning is a bit brighter and this was just kind of matching my vibe better, if that makes sense. Um, so I was really, really enjoying this. Yeah, and this is kind of convenient to have like, it's a larger product, but at the same time, it's still probably smaller having this. If you want to carry a lipstick and a lip gloss, this is still probably smaller than carrying the two pieces, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so those are the four items that I've played with over this past month. I will pick four new items for the next month. Like I said, last update, I haven't even picked them yet. So I don't know what they're gonna be. So I'm kind of doing this project like after the fact, like after I pick stuff, get my thoughts and feelings about it and then filming the video. Um, so yeah, it's going well. This project is working for me. I'm liking it. I'm liking how it's really getting me to think about the products in my collection. And I really am trying to force myself to really think about, is this a product that I can see myself continu continuing to use or is it something that I just I just need to say goodbye to so if you like this video feel free to give a little thumbs up down below and if you haven't already I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto Canada I hope you're doing well and I'll see you sometime soon bye